Hello. 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 Oh. That's my O sound. Hello. Is that yours? Josh. Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex of Corbin. Hello. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks page for also to go and go like button. Rewants it. Rewants it. Today we got a video. The science of swing bowling explained. The science of swing bowling, precious. Yes. Don't call me precious. Uh, and so the science of swing bowling. This goes into it. Uh, there's there's something in uh, in America that is called um, pro football science. I don't know if you've ever seen anything from them. No. They it break down like. The percentage of, like, what the receiver had to do. Mm. To, to, Mathematical uh, yeah, probabilities. Yeah, all kind of ridiculous shit that yeah, yeah, I yeah. don't know anything about. They could be lying through their teeth. But uh, <laughs> uh, I'm guessing this Just is... Just call some... it science, and we probably won't know what you're yeah, talking yeah. about. What's science? Yeah. We're from America. <laughs> Fast bowlers in cricket know how to make the ball dance and sometimes wow not a lot of explanation not at all i don't didn't learn anything to even make the batsman dance this dancing ball <laughs> or swinging ball <laughs> nice. is a nightmare for batsmen but what is swing bowling what is conventional swing what is reverse swing bowlers might know this art quite well but do you know no. there's a lot of hidden science behind it that they're using watch this video till the end to know all about it Swing bowling is all about changing the direction of the ball mid-air. But what causes the ball to move sideways? A NASA scientist and cricket enthusiast, Rabindra Mehta, studied cricket ball aerodynamics for nearly three decades. Wow. His findings revealed the science behind swing bowling. Let us first understand the design of a cricket ball. A cricket ball is made up of a cork and is covered by a leather casing. The two halves of the ball are stretched by a string and this is known as the seam. On both sides of the seam, the surface of the ball degrades with use. The fielding side will usually allow one side to roughen up while keeping the other side shiny. Why? You will know this in a little while. The typical way to create swing is to use the seam and the asymmetry of the ball. If the seam of the ball is in the direction of the throw, then the ball will go straight. If the seam is at an angle, then the ball will go in the seam's direction. Which basically means that if the seam is pointed outward from the batsman, then the ball will go outward. And likewise, if the seam is pointed inwards to the batsman, the ball will go inwards. When the ball is released from the hand, it goes through the air. The ball diverts the airflow in two directions, one towards the smooth side and the other towards the rough side. At the smoother area, the flow of air is smooth and is called laminar flow. Wow. On the other hand, when the air goes towards the other side, the ball seam disturbs the airflow and makes the flow rough or turbulent. This creates an air pressure difference between the two sides. Mm. The pressure at the turbulent flow side is much lower than the pressure at the smoother side. The ball swings in the direction where the air pressure is low and hence it will move with the seam. This type of swing is known as conventional swing. There is another type of swing bowling which is known as reverse swing. To reverse swing the ball, the ball's rough side is faced towards the batsman. The ball diverts the airflow in two directions. One towards the rough side, which creates the turbulent flow, and another towards the seam side, which disturbs the flow of the air and makes the flow turbulent. But the turbulence at the rough side is more than the turbulence at the smooth side. And hence, the air pressure at the rough side is less than the air pressure at the smooth side. This makes the ball swing opposite to the direction of the seam and hence makes the ball reverse swing. There is one other type of swing bowling as well. It is called contrast swing. In this, the direction of the seam is in the direction of the throw. Both the sides will have the turbulent flow 
but the turbulence at the rough side will be more and hence the ball will swing towards the rough side. So how can you tell what type of swing a particular bowler is producing? Make a note of the seam orientation and swing direction. If they are coincident, it is conventional swing. If opposed, it is reverse swing. And if the seam is Yeah, you need to see where the seam is here, too. You've just witnessed contrast swing. You need to see which Both side is facing which way. Bowling would help you with your next cricket match with your friends. Try to make the ball dance. And you can flaunt this technique. If you're batting <laughs> though, I'll hope you'll keep an eye on the position of the rough side and the seam. And then pick your favorite shot. Wow. Great explanation. Great. Yeah, because we've seen the movement on balls. We just have never been shown how that's done. That was uh, a really informative video. Especially all the three uh, um, different types of swing bowling. We actually got taught swing bowling for the first time when we went here. And the guy there said, the guy that was just practicing at the at the uh, batting cages for cricket, um, he said he was a swing bowler. Hmm. And we're like, what's that? Right. And he explained it and went over our heads. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it, it makes a lot of sense, obviously. Um, well, and the other thing is variations obviously can be done based on how quickly it's thrown. Because the harder you throw, the more wind resistance you're going to have. So you could technically, I presume throw a ball like a conventional swing but it will behave differently depending upon the velocity so you may pick up immediately okay there's the seam there's the rough side but it looked like it was coming at you faster than it really was because the bowler did a great job of making you think it was going to be coming in at yeah. 90 miles an hour but it really came in at 70. it's probably pretty obvious when people have been watching it their whole lives just like yeah like, right right i know you can pick up immediately what it, what a pitch is of, yeah upon release almost yeah ev uh, for baseball. both both hitting it and watching it on tv i take it for granted i was watching a baseball game with some friends about a month ago and they they just were marveling not just not just that i was able to pick up on what pitch was what mm -hmm. but i was able to based on the count and the playing situation to decode what next pitch was probably coming. Yeah. And I was right most of the time. That's just, like you said, mm -hmm. when if you're been, used to it, if you've been you watching it your things. whole life, it's, yeah, it's literally second nature, especially yeah. if you've played it as well. Yeah. Um, that's a, that's, I, until this very moment, did not know, obviously those things, but did not know that one of the things a batsman is, is eyeing for is the specificity of the direction of the seam as well as which side is the rough side. Yeah, it makes sense. It makes a lot of sense. Uh, anyways, uh, fantastic explanation. Great explanation. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, if there's any more information from this that we need to know or if there's other videos that can explain stuff better, uh, please let us know what those are down below.